In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Nice to see you all this morning. Today's Mass has been offered for Ron James. So as we come to pray, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my faults, through my faults. Therefore, I ask us, Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. Be Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Ron James. God of love, you call St. Catherine Gregson to teach the message of the Gospel and to bring the life of the Eucharist to the Native American and African American peoples, by her prayers and example, enable us to work for justice among the poor and the oppressed, and to keep us undivided in love in the Eucharistic community of your Church. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading is from Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving him and walking in his ways, and keeping his commandments, statutes, and decrees, you will live and grow numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you I have said before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then, that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding his voice, and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live on the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is number one. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Lord. 
Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders and chief priests of the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loves his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world and lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. Three things came to mind when I read today's Gospel. Number one, John 3.16. It's incredible when you think about it, that God, with every means available to him, would take up the cross and die on the cross for us. John 3.16 says, For God so loved us, he sent his only Son, that we may not die, but may have eternal life. God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. So that's number one. God loves you. Jesus Christ died on the cross for you, out of love. Never forget that. God loves you. Number two, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must take up his cross daily. Now, we are used to that. I see a lot of you wearing jewelry with crosses and a cross around your neck and everything. It's a symbol we dearly love because it, it a sign of God's love for us. But for the first century Jew, hearing that, that was a radical statement. That was like saying, carry your electric chair with you if you're, if you're doomed to die. You know, that was a symbol of torture and brutality. And, 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 and yet, and Jesus didn't sugarcoat what he was saying. He said, life is difficult. And if you want to be a Christian, you have to follow in my steps. And the step of Jesus is the step of sacrifice. It's not about us. We're not the center of the universe. We are here to serve others and to give up ourselves and sacrifice for others. That's the key. Life is about giving ourselves away to others in sacrifice. And the, the final line, what profit is, is there for one to gain the whole world and lose a forfeit himself? That was the verse that converted St. Francis de Sales. Ignatius of Loyola wanted to make him a Christian and wanted him to be a follower of Jesus Christ, but uh, Francis wanted to be a man of the world. Power, pleasure, wealth and fame, that's what he wanted. And Ignatius kept quoting this verse to him. What does it profit a person to gain the whole world and lose his soul? And this was the verse that converted him and he became the great missionary as we know him. One of the first Jesuits, Francis, uh, Francis Xavier. Did I say Francis de Sales? I meant Francis Xavier. Okay, let, 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 let us pray. For the renewal of the church through the flawed process, we pray to the Lord. Lord I pray. For all of us to become intentional disciples and to bring back the former and inactive Catholics, we pray to the Lord. Lord I pray. For the people doing research, may they find cures for cancer, Parkinson's, kidney disease, Alzheimer's, ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, and other catastrophic illnesses, we pray to the Lord. Lord I pray. We pray for the Ukrainian people. They have suffered so much from the Russians in the last hundred years. We pray that this suffering will come to an end and that Vladimir Putin will have a conversion of heart and become an instrument of God's love and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the holy season of Lent. May we practice prayer, fasting, and works of mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless us be now for Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Regard with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings we set upon this sacred altar, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblation may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let's Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred pastoral feasts with the joy of minds made pure and soul more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mystery by which we they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters, and so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominion, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing to him of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. May we be telling us all about St. Catherine Gregson. She was a great leader and in beautiful sayings on the Eucharist. She said, Ours is the spirit of the Eucharist, the total gift of self. The sweetest joy is to be in the presence of Jesus in the Holy Sacrament. I beg that when obliged to withdraw in body, I may leave my heart before the Holy Sacrament. How I would miss our Lord if I were to be away from me by his presence in the Blessed Sacrament. The Eucharist is the never-ending sacrifice. Is the sacrament of love, the supreme love, the act of love. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings, and pour out of them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love, for your Son alone has just handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms are outstretched between heaven and earth, become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he is about to reconcile all things in himself to his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving him thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace. We celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, and those who unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom, until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints of the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
the blessed Joseph of Spies, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commit to your mercy, then freed at last from the wound of corruption, and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the blessing of your heavenly gifts, we humbly beseech you, Almighty God, that they may always be for us a source forth of pardon and of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.